Hey YouTube. Alright, so just a little quick video. Um, tomorrow's the big day. I'm gonna get some the first uh, dust coat of paint on this thing and then uh, let it dry for 24 hours and we're gonna come back and hit the second coat. But before uh, before I actually get ready to do the paint, I got the brake pedal back on and I noticed that I'm still getting a little bit of scratching. Right here. Let's see if I can get that in focus. Right here on the steering column. So this is the reason why I wanted to mock this up before I started painting. So what happened was on the knuckle, I still had to chamfer and polish around this edge a little bit more because when it was locked on, it was actually starting to cut in the steering column through here. So I went ahead and I beveled and rounded over and smoothed that edge out a little bit. So that should hopefully alleviate the issue. I'm going to go ahead and get ready to get that on, uh, show you how it looks, show you how the steering looks, and then actually, you know what, I'll show you how the steering looks, but I'll show it again anyway, because I'm quite happy with that. But let me go ahead and hit pause and get set up and get this knuckle back on, and then, um, yeah, tomorrow's going to be the big day. All right, so like I was saying, pretty simple, pretty easy, nothing really to put the knuckles on, but that sounds much better. It's not grinding into the paint now, so I'm going to have to touch that primer up a little bit, but... Nice and smooth. So this is the edge. I'm gonna go ahead and take care of this and then uh, clean this thing up. So here is, again, what I was saying about the steering. So I get it on the shaft, there we go. So as you say, it, as soon as you touch it, it turns instantly. So definitely a big difference there. Now I'm starting to get anxious to get this thing back together, but I still have all the body work to do on the hood. The grill um, had a bunch of dents in it, and the front bolt that actually goes in here was tore through. So I had to, on the grill, pound all this out. And I'm probably going to, it's actually so bad, um, the hole got ripped through. Um, this was actually facing straight up. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, probably weld a washer onto the grill. Um, back in place of where that indentation is, where the original bolt goes in. That's about the best way to fix it because as bad as it is, I don't really think there's much more I can do with it. Um, the hood, of course, you know, somebody through the years, instead of pulling off the exhaust and pulling everything off, they went ahead and propped up this side of the hood and then they put a crease down to the top of it. So I'm going to have to try and get that crease out of there because I really don't want to spend $300 for a new hood when that's really the worst thing about it. Um, it's pretty flat for the most part where it's creased. So I don't see why I can't uh, go ahead and pound that out and smooth it out. I'm going to try to use as less Bondo as possible, but again, I'm not really stressing. Uh, you know, it's just not going to be an inch of Bondo built up in it, but you know, the less I can do, the better. Other than that, you can see everything has been cleaned. <laughs> sand it this this was definitely uh it's a lot of work getting up inside there when you're not sandblasting you're actually just hand cleaning and then uh once i get this thing in its coat of paint i'm going to go ahead and turn my focus to the tires pulling the tires off i got the originals on the back of this were the 9.5s i went to the 11 twos um and then the fronts were I think the 4 by 15s I went to the 5 by 15s so I wanted to go a little bit bigger in tire size, but not much. And um, yeah, I'll probably show a video dismounting and mounting those, and then um, that's about it. So it's going to be, the fun part next is doing the assembly. And just a key note, anybody who decides to tackle an A, that right side, uh, rear hub, that is one heavy beast, especially when it comes to putting that in a sandblast cabinet. Picking that up off the ground, putting it in, I'd recommend two people. That's a that's a pretty good hunk of weight there. Obviously, that's necessary because of having to counterbalance the engine with it being offset. For those who haven't done one, I'll try to get a front view just so you can see the Super A's. Um, and then my last video, I personally like the look of the longer arm for the headlight on that side and the shorter arm on this side. But every single way I've seen, it's the long arm to this side and the short arm to that side. So in the last video, you wouldn't have noticed they were switched the opposite way. Well, I went ahead and switched them to the way everybody else's A's are. Um, like I said, me personally, I still like them the other way. But I'm guessing it's because of 
the bracket here, the center line coming down to get that grill to set center of those headlights. So, like I said, personally, I was thinking about buying an arm that length and putting it over here and trying to kick that headlight out a little bit because I thought symmetrical wise it looks better, but it's not right. And I'm worried it's going to put it too far out past the grill. So, 70 years, leave well enough alone. Uh, but other than that, stay tuned and I will show some videos of uh, getting this thing painted tomorrow. Thanks for watching.